I think when you're initially in the situation and you're in that place of fear and stress and you're there for the person being supportive to them and not knowing what the outcome is going to be. You don't see yourself as the care at that particular point because there's also many other things that are going through your mind. But I, looking back in hindsight, I realised was the care because the things that that I had to do for Shannon then that are not necessarily what I have to do now. For example, just the vulnerability of remember in hospital washing and bathing her uh, and that was really difficult. I remember having to uh, at one stage changing her and uh, with the bedpan and remember thinking that in a very dignified way for Shannon because I also knew it was very difficult for Shannon that this is not something that I signed up for and then the guilt of feeling that but at the same time you do it because it's the right thing to do and you want to do it. Uh, I then remember that some of the m intimate uh, nicer moments for Shannon and I was when I came up and she would get a bath uh, every couple of or once a week and uh, Shannon looked forward to that time because she got off the ward and we were in the bathroom and we had some time alone. And that were little uh, flashes of me getting to see Shannon's personality that it was still there because then when we went back onto the ward there was that vulnerability in Shannon and uh, very private. But uh, I remember the difficulties around how to negotiate uh, our social life and that was very difficult and at the same time you have to look after yourself within that and that's really really important and looking back now probably something that I was doing was running running a lot and walking a lot and even within those times of going to the hospital I made sure that I was getting out and jogging whether it was jogging to the hospital or jogging away from the hospital that I knew that for me to be there for Shannon I had to be strong and for me to be strong I had to exercise and I think that's really important getting that balance when somebody is unwell and you're caring for them. When you're in that moment, it doesn't feel you're the care, but when you look back and you realize that that's what you were doing.